Where were we? Good evening, everybody. System Chalk here for the third episode of the Bright Young Thing playthrough playing as David Allison. I had a very full day today, so I started recording the first two episodes, and I think I walked for something like four hours. So forgive me if I am a little groggy, and I am going to need to reacquaint myself with the playthrough. So uh, we had been playing the Bright Young Thing, Papa is dead, and we have decided to... Uh, instead of sort of fall into the the habits that might be my family's legacy, instead we will understand it through our temptation of enlightenment. Uh, for money, I have been painting. Certainly the money's running out. But that's because I've been buying a bunch of stores... Uh, sorry, buying a bunch of books at Moreland's. And I'm trying to remember what happened with my other passion. So we've got one passion here got the light in the skull. I have to have two. So where's the second? Oh, exhausted. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to do a passion-based painting just because we've got a staleness. <clears throat> now as far as Explorer is concerned, maybe let's go pick up another another book at Moreland's. It takes time to sort the gold from the dross, the wheat from the chaff, the blood from the water. If I buy enough books, I'll find something interesting. Uh, now, as far as going uh, going to the world of dream, I would like to do that, and I will do that through uh, as soon as I have either a moth or a lantern. And it looks like we'll have a moth before lantern, given that we are already reading the Viennese Conundra, and uh, we will be reading Kitling Ripe shortly afterwards. Just a reminder for the Viennese Conundra, Nico Vandriel describes odd events in Vienna, disappearance of children, epidemics of parasite activity, animal mutilations, nightmares of worms, the activities of a charitable organization, the New Legions, that funds the burial of the poor. She proposes peculiar connections between these activities. When the individual K attends the meetings, black dogs are sacrificed and quartered. When the individual M is in attendance, black mares are found with their throats slashed. I propose that these sacrifices are not necessary, but that our Legion friends may consider them fitting. Herewith, diagrams of the mutilations. I like herewith. I had a prof who said herewith in emails. That was, that was where I first encountered it. Maven's another word I like. Um, Maven. Actually, Maven's a fun one because I actually found that at a clothing store of all places. Like, I've used it ever since. Usually in reference to programming, but... Medusa's riddle, then, I choose to render as what is not seen. There is another riddle, one I've heard rendered as what may be lost. I will delineate some historic attempts to answer it. Uh, these in themselves, in some sense... Sorry. These are in themselves, some sense, sacrifices. So another glimmering to work with, which is good if I want to try and upgrade my passion, given that I'm going to be making money with painting. Probably upgrading the passion as soon as possible is a good idea. Uh, and we've already got the Ecdysis Parable. That is a much higher moth than I was anticipating. But I'm happy for it. So the Ecdysis Riddle is what may be lost. Each Ecdysis Parable is an attempt to answer that riddle. So we can certainly make our way to the woods now. However, I don't want to be using passion quite yet. So, uh, moving along, uh, moving along, we will um, take. Uh, I'll I'll get another moth uh, work. I don't think it hurts. Kitling Ripe and Moldy Warp's Grave and other stories. A lusciously illustrated tome of loosely connected children's stories. Connected, sorry, collected by one N. K. Field. Few of them are remotely suitable for children. The protagonist, a speechless cat thing called Kitling Ripe, performs a series of elaborate rites to rescue members of her extended family, culminating in the resurrection of her other grandmother, Moldywarp. Okay, erudition, dusty facts have become clear in my brain, for now at least. So unless we find something to do with the erudition, that's probably going to get left behind. We'll see where it goes, though. Not too worried about this passion. I believe we get it back intact when we're done our propagandizing. And a copy of Traveling at Night. So, again, another good trip to Moreland's. I want to be a little careful with the money, but we should still be able to get a decent enough library. It really kind of depends what happens with the paintings once all is said and done. Um, if I make some decent money from it, then I'm okay. Um, okay, 
season of sickness coming up, so it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to try and generate some health. I figure studying the health verb is probably the way to go. And the watchman's footsteps. Hunger glows in my brain. Hunger for knowledge the invisible arts might bring. And we've got a copy, copy of Victory of Crowns at Moreland's. So one more trip there, I think. I'll study my health to deal with the upcoming sickness, and then once we get our passion back, I'm going to study the restlessness that I earn. Okay, when the snake witch killed the stag, Kitling snatched one of its eyes. When the dry witch killed the sow, Kitling stole a cup of its blood. Then she took them to the place Moldywarp lay buried. She shook out her hair, and she began to dance. So we got a wood whisper for that. Lie awake and listen. The wind speaks in the branches. The house cries out in its sleep. These are the roads that chaos rides. So clearly I was off on my placement. It's a little more like it. Okay, so one question I do have is when do I want to activate this glimmering? We still have time, so I think probably it won't hurt for me to read more books. Um, let's go... Well, I could translate it, but we don't need to translate things when we have full text. So, Wrapped in the King. Detailed accounts by James Colin Murphy of the secret bacchanals and ecstatic dances observed in the necropolises and graveyards in southern Europe, in Egypt, and in Anatolia. The author is a self-confessed ghoul and eater of buried flesh. He claims to have witnessed the dances while at his feasting. And we really chose the grim texts to, to start off with. I guess we're feeling a bit gloomy after Dad. Uh, the dances draw from the traditions of the mysteries of the cults of Isis and Sybil, but includes both symbolic and literal flayings, and the human heart is always central to the rites. One author punctuates his accounts with queasy, sensuous descriptions of his own interrupted feasts. Okay. The Watchman, who is the door and the eye, waits in my dreams. If I learn the lantern lore and dream of this temptation, I can advance my purpose. The need gnaws at me. Six seconds away from getting that passion back, and then we can do a painting. Come with me. All right, so we have found Saliba and some Mystique. The Mystique doesn't really mean anything to me right now, but I guess nice to know we have it. So the reason why I was waiting here was just so I can put as much passion as I can into the painting. You never know, this might be a living. Well, we're not expecting too much, but we can at least get rid of the restlessness. This should have an impact. And talking-wise, we know we're not going to have any passion to use, so we might as well just uh, leave that be for the time being. We won't spend any money on the paints again. This is all about getting rid of the... Um, this is all about getting rid of the uh, staleness. I found something noteworthy, a 16th century alchemical fever dream attributed to Robert Flood, frequently banned for the disturbing allure of its illustrations. This is in the original Latin. So I'm happy enough that we can read volumes one and two, but we're not quite there yet. What I'm really looking for right now is a lantern text. But I'm happy to get a, again, I'm happy to get a, a big stack of books to read because we will want to, we'll want to make use of all of it. It takes time to sort the gold from the dross, the wheat from the chaff, the blood from the water. If I buy enough books, I'll find something interesting. I think in 29 seconds we'll consider combining those glimmering and uh, move move our, our way up in the creative world. Oop, I was late on the health, but that's fine. We've got plenty of health to play around with. I've become unwell. And mirrors are calm, the sun is steady, the glory recedes. I'm sane if that means anything. No fascination drives your visions, it's over for now. Season of Suspicion coming up, so that's going to eat up all my mystique. That's a bit of a shame as far as painting is concerned, but we'll see how it goes. Found something noteworthy. And while we're at it, let's just keep hammering away at Moreland's shop. Maybe when we're less than 10 funds, I'll, I'll consider another approach. At these greater feasts, a black pig was, uh, is always crowned as king before its slaying. On this occasion, its heart was weighed in the balance against a knot of feathers, and its skin became a cape for the officiant. Its flesh was left for the crows, but I must confess that my interest was not in its carcass, but in the perfumed flesh of the milliner laid fresh in the earth. 
So lucky for me, we got a vitality. Now I don't need to worry about using the uh, study verb to uh, to uh, recover from the sickness. Uh, however, I am going to. Um, well, I mean, at some point, I'm going to want to improve my uh, my strength. But um, yeah, uh, I'll double this up into a lesson learnt. But let's take the waking chant first. Who could hear this and remain unmoved? The sleeping, the dead, the earth and the sky. Okay, uh, combine the glimmering into a lesson learnt. I do want to try and get the painting, uh, the most out of my paintings as I can. All right, my recent work has drawn some attention. Something should sell. More mystique. Nice to have a glimmering in... Uh, all right, so we still have staleness. Given that we're going to be losing the mystique anyway, let's make the most of what we've got. I think I'll just uh, study the the glimmering again. If anything, this is just going to keep ratcheting up the uh, staleness. But I'm okay with this. I'll just um, if I if I keep building at the staleness, that just means I'm going to keep um, hitting my my passion when I can. All right, Theories, Volume One, and back to more this. I do have the option of continuing to talk about lore, but in this case, it doesn't quite get me what I need. This illness has damaged my health. I will need to rest before I am fully recovered. So here we'll just take the affliction and the vitality and heal it up. All I need now is time. And again, not spending on colors until, or not spending on paints until I have a slightly more secure position as far as the staleness is concerned. Worthless! I produce nothing of any use or significance at all. Should be ashamed of myself. Although we made some money. And this is just the glimmering we put in as inspiration, but I'm happy enough to keep it. So let's just keep milking that for all it's worth. The Locksmith's Dream, Portions and Proportions. Um, yep, we still have money for Moreland's. And there are more windows in my soul, but sunlight is not the only thing that passes through a window. So this is going to occupy the... Uh, this is going to occupy my ability to paint for a little while. Could have organized this a little bit better, but we'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. <clears throat> the humors of a gentleman. All right, so this is one of the ones we were looking for. Uh, I think I'll cool it on Moreland's for a little while, and now we'll just explore the fleeting reminiscence. Another season of sickness. Okay, um, I would. Uh, study the health here, but I do actually have a. Um, I'm going to have another another use for the study verb soon. Honestly, I'm only going through the motions. The quality of my work will no doubt suffer. Hey, we got a course of the heart. All right, lucky me. The close uh, sick room grows close and stale. Time to get up. Okay, we're still going to leave the study verb open. There we go. My recent work has drawn some attention. Something should sell, so that'll turn into money. Uh, what else are we looking at here? Extra mystique. Yeah. Oh, we need two lessons learned. All right, my bad. So we'll take the opportunity. We'll follow the moonlit road, and we will use the Ecdysis parable. The Thrycene Way. I could cut a lock of hair before I sleep to honor a power of the wood. should have an impact. I would, uh, yes, I'm reading sentimental literature as well. If I propose to learn anything, I wouldn't be reading this myself. So this is just a chance for me to try and get a quick 
um, a quick erudition. Oh, okay. Um, or not an erudition. A uh, quick, um, quick glimmering. Uh, however, I am going to replace this with a restlessness. We might be able to get through the painting in time, but no need to risk it. Let's do a quick search. Exercise or something rarer has invigorated me, so this will be to recover from the illness. A hireling. Uh, I'm not quite ready to hire a hireling. These facts have become clear in my brain, for now at least. And we got some money for the effort. No extra saleness though, so that's nice. Okay, so this is going to be used to upgrade the... Uh, sorry, I'm going to be using the skill to upgrade it in a little bit. So we'll leave the work slot open for now. This illness has damaged my health. I will need to rest before I'm fully recovered. I pass the time. I've been inclined to tears and afterwards inclined to laughter. Meanwhile, the world continues. So, um, I suppose there's a couple things I can do here. The road ducks into the trees. Pale wings move deep in the wood. I'm stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. The moon passes behind the black leaves, uh, though her fingers remain in my hair. I will not forget uh, the way to this place. And a buzzing in the brain, that's going to have uh, some consequences. I believe that will turn into restlessness at some point, but we will work with it. So combine the glimmering to a lesson learnt. Uh, let's keep making money. And then... Where's the wood? Yeah, this will have to do. If I have enough passion, I can walk the dream road to the wood. If I have the right knowledge, I might be able to find a way beyond it. So I don't think it's Moth that gets us through there. Hard, maybe? No. I think Lantern and Knock will always get me through, but um, there should be a specific path to the... to the door I was thinking of. I'd love to do something with the erudition, but I do tend to find that things work out a little bit better for me when I'm. Um, I do think I do find things work out a little bit better when I focus. So we'll um, leave this be for now. I will confess, I I would have thought that I'd be making a bit more glimmering as a result of my um, my activities. But then I guess I've been doing more mystique paintings after all. Alright, my recent work has drawn some attention. Something should sell. So again, decent money. A lot of glimmering from that. Uh, two mystique, which we put in. And still at the one. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. Um, let's think here. So yeah, 13 seconds. Uh, we will have a second glimmering, so I want to leave the vivid imagination open. We are... What am I doing? Passion. Good lord. Okay. I do also want to... I need to use this vitality reasonably soon, so we'll probably heal up next turn. And I should start thinking about how, um, how I'm going to get some more bodies in. Although, again, until we actually read the humors of a gentleman and found our cult... Well, actually, you may not found the cult uh, under Lantern, but... Until I can dedicate myself, certainly I want to, uh, okay, so this will get me notoriety. I don't think I'm quite ready to deal with that. So let's go to the well. The velvet is strong in the well at the wood, and the velvet is the hour that keeps secrets. But now and then she lets a little secret fall like a crumb at a feast. Last, now, last night, I found a moss-clad rock written all around with the secrets of another history. I might give thanks to the Velvet, but it would be wiser not to draw her attention. Oops. 
are more windows in my soul, but sunlight is not the only thing that passes through a window. Okay, so first things first, let's clear out... Um, or let's upgrade the Vivid Imagination. So happy to have the passion, but... I probably, like I think I did say before, I wanted to get rid of the, um, I did want to get rid of the staleness, so maybe we'll hold off, we'll keep the passion so that we can do the, um, oh, but I do need to paint with the restlessness. 59 seconds. Okay, well, best I got. Season of Ambitions. Let's give this a shot, see what comes up. So, um, yeah, basically I've been holding back on the on the passion just so I can try and get that, uh, try and get the staleness painted away. Painting is going to be my main source of income, and it's actually worked pretty well for us. But one drawback is, is it has kept me from, uh, from reading all of these different books, and I, I do actually want to make some progress on that. Uh, also because I've been single-mindedly pursuing my erudition, that has come at the cost of, uh, or sorry, of my glimmerings, uh, that has come at the cost of the fact that I've gotten a couple lights in the skull, which I haven't really made anything of. But again, you take the opportunities that you can, and in this case here, uh, I figured we might as well work. I should have read that text, I'm sorry. Um, you know, we'll, we'll work with what we've been given, and uh, I'm pretty sure this will sort itself out over time, but um, clearly founding the cult and getting um, getting a reliable source of income are probably the two, two big priorities. So we already have a season of suspicion. This isn't uh, too big of news. And I found a customer. She'll probably hang it in her spare bedroom and never look at it again, but the money is good. So, lucky me. So we've got some glimmering to work with. Actually, that's a lot. Okay, so we're probably going to get another level out of that. Um, more passion. My desires grow in number. It may well be that they will always outpace my actions. I think probably at this point... Well, let's wait till we get the restlessness. I don't think that's going to change much as far as uh, what we can do, but I have a wild imagination now. I have been known to break six pencils in a day. And the sick room grows close and stale. Time to get up. And another course of the heart. Lucky me. Okay, so again, as far as uh, as far as good luck is concerned, the bright young thing has it in spades. Let's clear our mind. Uh, let's go for study. Let's read The Humors of a Gentleman. Samuel Savage's satirical comedy on the intrigues of the ailing but cunning John's son, his mistress Maybelline, her lover Leo, and the upstart Corvino. Now, um, I think we can afford a trip to Moorlands here. So it takes time to sort the gold from the dross, the wheat from the chaff, the blood from the water. If I buy enough books, I'll find something interesting. Now what I should have done was actually combine the glimmerings into a... Um, into a lesson learned, I think I may actually wind up losing one of them as a result of this. We'll see if we can we can do some shenanigans to to make it all work out. I don't need the lantern lore right away. I do, however, want to upgrade things. So, the watchman, who is the door in the eye, waits in my dreams. If I learn the lantern lore and I dream of this temptation, I can advance my purpose. The need gnaws at me. Okay, so uh, we did want to get rid of the restlessness, so let's take our imagination. Oops. So I've got two passion I can throw at this. I, I'll add the mystique as well. Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but we will... Actually, one thing I can do to make life a little easier for me is add one of the things here for a second. Can't do that for too long, but it will at least keep the restlessness going. Oh, sorry, it'll keep the um, glimmering going, I mean. And what is contained for, by silver? So we need the Greek for that, but that is still another lantern book for us. So, again, good news. 
My own heart pumps more strongly today. So if I can get another vitality somewhere, maybe now would not be a bad time to study heart just so I can... Nope, oh, but that doesn't let me double up the glimmering then. And we won't pay for paints because in this case we're trying to reduce the staleness. We're still above 10, so... I see the mistakes, but I can also see the end. The play is scabrous and occasionally hilarious. The characters are contrary and capricious. Many of those, uh, sorry, many of the more resonant lines might well be formula of power disguised in plain sight. The Watchman's Secret, it has been expressed like this. Each hour has its color, but color exists only where there is light. The sun still moves, the wind still walks, my journals are the labyrinth clues. So I can always explore with these if I want to you know, take a chance, but maybe not while a season of uh, despair is upon us. So let's try and make the most of these glimmerings. So we can combine these two. It's 56 seconds, so I'll probably want to paint the glimmering to preserve it. This is work I can be proud of. With enough publicity, it will sell. All right, so still a stubborn staleness. Okay, uh, we will get money from this as soon as the overexposure dies out. I don't think I want to use this passion right now, but let's... I am still going to keep painting. And that is so I can preserve the life of this glimmering. Alright, locks my stream again. Uh, let's... I changed my mind. I am going to risk it. Let memory guide my steps. My thoughts still will wander and I will follow. Old emotions will come to roost. So part of this is just letting time go by uh, so I can restore the exhausted passion. We've lost our mystique, so in this case we'll just wait for the wait for the weary detective to do their thing. And hopefully I'll get some of my mystique back as I do a level three passion painting, but that's gonna take some time. Alright, memory is a maze, at its heart a garden, so I will want to paint this away when I can. And another season of suspicion coming up, which is inconvenient for me. Worthless painting, so we got some mystique for that. Looks like we will get a bit of money after all, which is nice. Uh, I can wait a little while on this restlessness, but I am going to want to keep an eye on what's going on. Okay. There are more windows in my soul, but sunlight is not the only thing that passes through a window. So 46. Okay, so tricky business for everyone. Uh, the Tigers of Wrath are wiser than the Horses of Instruction. If I spend some time studying what I've learned, I could work towards increasing my passion. So, we're two away. I'm just, I just need one more glimmering. It's going to be a very narrow path, but I think we can make it work. I'll add to the library. Okay, good news here. So, this is going to be, again, a passion... This is going to be a passion painting. You never know, this might be a living. So instead of adding this restlessness here, we're going to add the glimmering temporarily. This is just so that I can extend its life for a little bit longer. And then we replace it at the last minute with the restlessness. My own park heart pumps more strongly today. So if I can, we'll combine these into a lesson learnt, but I don't think we're going to be able to pull that off. Okay, so we'll switch you out. This should have an impact. And we're not going to pay for the paints. Found something noteworthy. The burning of the unburnt god. And it's tempting to pick up the uh, another book, but I think I'm going to leave that be for now.
Hopefully we get a glimmering out of this. The world goes away. We may also get a fascination, but I've got a fleeting reminiscence to help me if I do. This is something special. It may provoke a reaction. There are more windows in my soul, but sunlight is not the only thing that passes through a window. So if we don't get a glimmering, we can combine the two vitality. If we do get a glimmering, then... Okay, three glimmering. So again, upgrading uh, my upgrading my imagination is more important, and we no longer have the staleness, which is good. We also don't have any reputation to work with, which is less good. But we'll work with uh, we'll work with what we have. We can always get more reputation, um, sometimes just by painting. But that's again, we won't worry about that too much. I suppose I don't actually need to employ any uh, any um, anything into into a painting. It's probably a waste to do that, though. So we'll leave that aside. It feels so weird to have all of these uh, empty like this. In fact, we're really not waiting on all that much. I will try to upgrade the wild imagination at some point, but I think this is as good of a place to end it. So I haven't been going to the dream just because I wanted to get rid of that staleness. Obviously with the passion, uh, we're clear of that now. I might do one more passion painting just so I can get the mystique. Obviously we've got an investigation going on that eats up all of the mystique. Um, but at this point here, what I want to consider is one, founding a cult, uh, two, bringing in the followers, uh, and then the better use of my passion right now will be to get um, will be to get followers, uh, go to the uh, go into the woods to be able to you know uh, get more things, um, and then also potentially study uh, passion. But honestly, we're doing pretty well for glimmering, um, and that's partly just because in the end here you'll notice that we've so. This is, again, the question in terms of the characters that you play. Um, the, the usual way I think a lot of people play is that they'll take the physical labor job for a while because that's a really great way of getting some vitality. And look, I've done this the same. You've seen me do this in playthroughs. It's a really convenient way to, to level up your skills. Um, but in this case, it's a little weird to play the bright young thing and then just do physical labor. And in this case, because we went down that path where we suddenly become interested in, in the books that originally we were just buying because you know, we wanted to show off. It doesn't necessarily seem to be a natural path for this character to to take uh, a kind of a, a physical uh, job like that. So I will still try and level up my health, but I'm going to try and level up my health through other means. Uh, and that's just a way that I kind of keep the game uh, fresh for me. But in any case, uh, we will deal with all of this in a future episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely evening, and we will see you for what should be the final episode of the week. It should be Friday's episode next one. In any case, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.